Good old Empire State. Man, I love this town. Time to grab a snapshot. That'll do it. Map should be recalibrated now. Haven't done much photography since quitting the Bugle. Forgot how much I enjoy it. Should keep an eye out for more landmarks to shoot. Huh, it's Mr. Lee. Hello? Peter, it's Martin Lee. I just wanted to let you know we need a little extra time to get set for May's party. I guess the cake delivery is stuck in traffic. Oh, sure thing. Just let me know when you're ready and I'll swing by. Great. Talk to you soon. Okay, got some time to kill. Let's see what's happening out in the city. Hi, Mr. Muggins. Uh, this is about the rent. Mr. Park, it's called, sir, the third final one. Eviction proceedings. Wait, wait, I, I get paid at the end of the week. I get... Oh. On Friday, unless full payment is received by close of business. I'm losing it. Yeah, good day. Gang that couldn't drive straight. Hi, Mr. Lee. Hey, Peter. We're all set for the party whenever you're ready. Cool. I'm on my way. Trade's gotten more aggressive post Fisk. Gotta stop that out. Ah, you guys are like little kingpins in training. So cute. Ah. 
Fisk did keep these wannabe pushers in check. Wait, what's that feeling? What? Miss him? Officers, be advised. A mugging was just reported. Reported location is the garment district. Over. The shot! All units be advised, break in reported in progress. Officers near Bowery, please respond. Tip. If you're not good at breaking or entering, maybe don't pull a B&E. Now, where did I put my bag? Mr. Lee's probably in the kitchen getting ready for the party. What about my dog? Hey, Peter. Hey, guys. How's the game going? How's it look like it's going? I'm winning. Get this guy checked for dementia, Pete. I'm crushing him. Well, the important thing is having fun. <laughs> I have a lot of fun whooping his ass. And your dreams, crazy lady. Hey, Peter. <laughs> What's up? Just dropping in. We will keep you up to date and report back with any further information regarding this story. Hey, Martin, so sorry I'm late. You were right on time. Just keep her distracted while we get everything ready. You got it. Hey, there's my favorite aunt. Peter. What a nice surprise. Need some help? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, there are some heavy no, boxes. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, I mean, not yet. I mean, I came to, uh, uh, uh I just, just wanted to talk. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Um. Peter, are you in trouble? Do you need money? No, no, I mean, I mean I'm a little behind on my rent, but no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Girl problems again, huh? What? No, that's crazy. I still wish you and MJ could work things out. She's a great girl. She is, but... The two of you would make some beautiful wow. baby. Uh... Peter. What is it? Come on. 
You can tell me. These past few years, you helping me and working here. Sacrificing so much and asking for nothing. I just wish there were more people like you in the world. He's right. Five years ago, you walked in here and told me you were inspired by my mission to help others. Now it's you who inspires me. Thank you, May, for everything. Here's for many more years of service. Thanks again for setting all this up. Oh, I just wish I could do more. Well, Mazo always told me if you help someone, you help everyone. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should send May to City Hall to have a word with the mayor. Oh, I gotta run. Um, thanks again for the party and everything. It, it really means a lot. Voicemail from Yuri. Should check it outside. I gotta get out of here before my kids find out. Voicemail from Yuri. Hey, the silent alarm at the auction house holding Fisk's estate sale just tripped. Could you check it out? Quietly? I don't want to make a scene if it's nothing. Fisk's estate sale? Sounds fun. Wonder what the kingpin had hidden in his closets. Yeah, I had to get to the lab. Sorry. Don't apologize. I just wanted to tell you how much what you said meant to me. I always wonder if I'm doing right by you. Well, stop wondering. After losing my parents and Uncle Ben, there are so many times I would have fallen apart if not for you. Well, that works both ways, Peter. I just wanted to make sure you knew that. May, I... I don't know what to say. Oh, I think Mr. Lee needs my help. I should go. See you soon, dear. I love you. Love you too.
Would you look at that? Half the crime tower's back up already. When spider cops on the job, come hell or high water, the job gets... Nope, nope, nope. Nope. She'd never admit it, but the chief was warming up to spider cop. His casual disregard for by the book thinking was a breath of fresh air. She'd come around. Someday. Crime would decline post Fisk. Might have been too optimistic. That's a keeper. Narcotic sale reported. Location is firehouse on the west side. Armed mugging. Any officers near firehouse, please copy.
your listener emails. Mae from Queens writes, You're so full of anger and I wish you'd get help managing it. It's terrible for your health. Now I know she speaks from a place of concern. But this is a common misconception that I have to correct. I'm not full of anger. I'm full of love. I call out injustice, corruption, and crimes against humanity because I adore this city. And I hear in my voice, it's love. Nothing but love.
feel like the holdup guys are phoning it in lately. Daily Bugle. Always a great paper. Even more now that Jameson's retired. <sighs> Nothing puts a pep in my step like halting an illegal drug deal. Another low wind. Information caller who thinks we're better off thanks to Spike. Let's see if I can set her straight. You're on, Jonah James. I just want to say that I've never seen Manhattan so safe and peaceful. Compare what it was like when Spike. Now. Okay, fair enough, I will. Then, we had police and firefighters doing a wonderful job. There was crime, sure, but nothing they couldn't handle. Of course, we do have things now we didn't have then. Maniacs who shoot electricity out of their eyes. Walking piles of sand. Nazis made of bees! Didn't Spider-Man put all those guys in jail? You're missing the point! They didn't exist before he came along! At best, he attracts them! But I've often wondered if they're in cahoots. Wow. I've never actually heard anyone say cahoots before. Look, all I'm saying is, I'd hate to imagine what would have happened if all those guys showed up and Spider-Man wasn't here. Another lost cause. Goodbye! <laughs> Yuri said quiet. Better find a back way in. following a crash. Reports place the scene at Central Park.
losing patience. Where is the file? There's someone else here. They must have taken it. Those masks. Who are these guys? There's no one here but us. We will find the file. Or you will die. This is bad. They'll kill her if I alert them. We need to pick them off silently. Yuri, the silent alarm was legit. Masked gunmen and a single hostage. Looks like a heist in progress. Copy that. Sending units your way. Keep the situation from getting worse in the meantime. Can do. Gotta do this quietly. Don't want to alert the others. Cozy whipped up like that. Should web him from above. Whoa, careful. Stay quiet now. Someone's coming. They'll see me down here. My patience wears thin. Someone else is here. I swear. She must have the file. If they're here, where are they? I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Move it, Pete. Bad guys are getting ready to be bad. Just share what panel of audio. Yan Jing Zen Da Dian. Yo, Kyla. Hey, what is that? This totally belongs to... Don't move! For every don't move... Hey, Pete. Jay, what are you doing here? Same as you. Working. At least, I was. Oh, I, uh, think this is yours. Yeah, thanks. So, Robbie's got you covering a break-in for the Bugle? Well, Robbie doesn't technically know I'm here. And it wasn't a break-in until a few minutes ago. Uh, uh-huh. Let me explain. Excuse me. Hi, Mary Jane Watson. I am covering the Fisk estate sale. Hello. Craig said we'd do this tomorrow. I like to get a jump on things. Well, I don't. You'll have to come back tomorrow. Right. Okay. I'm sorry. Hey, Craig? No, sorry. It just... It looks like we're gonna have to run something else on the cover. I don't know. Uh... 
Maybe the expressionist piece? You know what? I think I can make today work. Are you sure? You're here. No moment like the present. Thank you. Craig? Never mind. We're good. Let's get started. Look around and familiarize yourself with the items. I'll be waiting by the Baku statue when you're ready to begin. Can do. I get why Peter does it, but I never totally loved the heroes hiding behind masks thing. Feels like part of being a hero is standing behind your actions. Being willing to say, yeah, that was me. That's the sort of hero I'd want to be, at least. <sighs> this cut Peter open like a pork sausage with this the first time they fought. Pete got away, collapsed in my yard half dead, and I had to steal my dad's car to drive him to the ER. The first of many Nurse MJ moments. Too many. Sometimes I feel like the whole history of the world is just... Boys playing dress up, getting into fights. I can't get over this image. So much tension between these two figures. Kyoto, so beautiful. <sighs> Part of me wishes I could... Let me know when you're ready to begin. Sounds good. Starting with the prize, a one-of-a-kind Kakemon Baku. Oh, beautiful. It's a Mifune? Correct. Mr. Fisk has exceptional taste. Did you know him well before his arrest? In a professional context. I handled many of his sales. Let's move on, please. Now this exquisite piece exemplifies the traditional Tarashikomi puddled ink effect. The two Neo are so imposing. I can see why Fisk liked this piece. Definitely his style. He loved the duality. Destruction screams, but creation toils in silence. Was there ever anything irregular in any of the sales you handled for him? No. No, of, of course not. Not that I was aware of. Notice the intricate gold inlay on this ceremonial tea set. It's just... A friend in the DA's office mentioned that Fisk used art sales to launder stolen goods. I'm... sure I wouldn't know anything about that. Oh, I know. I was just wondering, now that he's arrested, if you had ever noticed anything... strange. You know what? I'm actually running short of time. Why don't we grab the cover photo while we can? When I told my DA friend I was doing a piece on you, he mentioned your name was familiar. Just the photo, please. Stand right there. Are you sure there's nothing you'd like to say, maybe off the record, regarding Fisk's activities? I don't think your readers would have any interest in... Damn it. Wait here, please. Can't go in now. She'll... Wait, I recognize that statue. Gotta get a photo. That shouldn't be here. Hello? Craig? Can you hear me? The connection is awful. Not while she's in there. Craig, I, I can barely can't go hear you. Now. Are She'll you there? See me. Got it. Craig. Oh. My dear, I think it's time for you to go. Oh, um, could I... Use the restroom real quick. Fine. Follow me. Thank you. This... This is a really lovely space. It is. And this will be the last time you see it. The ladies is around the corner. Be quick. Of course. Be right back. Hello, Craig. Funny you should call. 
Because the reporter you sent is clearly not working the puff piece we agreed upon. Got to get into that back room. If that statue is what I think it is, this just turned into a huge story. What do you mean he had to reschedule? If she's not your... Order, who is she, Craig? Quiet. Who is in my auction house? Oh my god. No, I do not trust you to fix this. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is have Miss Investigative Journalist arrested. And the second thing I'm going to do is collect your head, Craig. Dang, she's pissed. It is most definitely a threat. Uh-huh. Wait a second, Craig. He told me about this. Fisk used it to hide evidence. Why didn't the cops take it? I know this statue opens, but how? I wonder if there are any clues in here. That's the Neo behind them, but it looks different. She certainly is cozy with Fisk. you can move. Most common pose is latent power. Mouth closed, left arm down. Hmm. He's holding something. Pieces move.
Dog mentioned two poses. Mouth closed, left arm down. Maybe I should turn the head. Nice. So close. But a piece is missing. I've seen these before. That's not right. Fits, but it's not the right one. Excuse me, sir. You you can't be not good. Where's the statue? In in, in, in there. Ba Wen Jin zao shu lai. I was on my way to the exit when I saw you. You're lucky to be alive. This is the guy I saved five minutes ago. Listen, whoever these masked guys are, they're after this file. But I'll never get it out of here while the place is swarming with them. Right. Okay. Um, you hide back there. I take out the bad guys. You make a break when it's clear. Sounds like a plan. Good to see you, Pete. Yeah, you too. Not exactly how I pictured us meeting again, though. Funny. It's exactly how I pictured it. Did she change her perfume? Focus, Pete, focus. No. Yes! All right. Of course. Should clear these guys out before I push forward. Do. How about that file? What's in it that these guys want so bad? Do. How about that file? What's in it that these guys want so bad? Notes on something called Devil's Breath. Fisk was hired to build a secret research lab for it. Not clear what Devil's Breath is, but it seemed to scare Fisk. He compares it to Pandora's box. Not much shook Fisk. We need to get you and that file out of here. Hang tight. Pete. 
Taking guys. Whoa, what is up with that glowy stuff on your hands? Are you guys ghosts? Never fought a ghost before. I mean, I've fought specters, but you know, technically, specters aren't ghosts. All ghosts are specters, but not all specters are ghosts. You know what I mean? Ah, seems like this is an energy thing, not a ghost thing. All good. Fight a ghost stays on the old bucket list. Yeah. Huh. Looks antique. I think I know someone who could help track down where this came from. A job for later. I just talked to Craig. You are not the reporter he was sending. You don't even work for Heritage Arts. Never said I did. Hi. Mary Jane Watson, Daily Bugle. You... You will not write a word of what you saw For the here. record, what do you know about the file those masked men stole? That... I, I don't... What about the long history of stolen goods Fisk has laundered at this auction house? Your editor will be hearing from our attorney. Mix. <laughs> like the last six months never happened. Since when did Mix become Italian? No idea, but I'm still glad he makes these fries. Totally. Best in the city. So, how's the grind at the Bugle? Mm. Well, 
Yeah, well, I just got an all-caps text from Robbie about my so-called antics tonight. So it looks like I'll be meeting with a legal team. Again. As uh, soon as he reads the article you're gonna write, guaranteed promotion. So, creepy mask, guys. What's your take? Just another night in the city. What's your take? I feel like there's a bigger story there. Let's not make this all about business. How's, how's it going with you? Did, did you get that promotion? No, but we're on the cusp of something really big. You know Oscorp would hire you in a heartbeat, right? One phone call to hair. Sure, but Dr. Octavius' work will help millions. I'm, I'm, I'm right where I want to be, right where I should be. Oh, well, sounds like it's more important than your other job. I've never heard you talk like that before. A well, lot can change in six months. Why did you ask me here, Pete? You know, just, uh, just dinner between friends. Friends. Is that what we are? Well, maybe we could be, you know, if, if, if that's what you wanted. <laughs> There's a lot of baggage here. Yeah, sure, but is that so bad? I mean, baggage can carry good things, too, like, uh, like money and uh, keys, and raspberry lip balm. Do you remember why we broke up? This is a trick question, isn't it? Saved by the siren. Talk to you later. Go. Love seeing you two together again. You always were my favorites. It's heading down third. Looks like our old friend Herman Schultz is at it again. Shocker! Didn't he just get paroled? Yeah, well, guess it didn't take. No worries. Herman's just a big cupcake. I'll have him back in Rikers by bedtime. Just had dinner with my ex after saving her from masked criminals. And now I'm gonna go beat up a maniac who uses shockwaves to rob people. What a perfectly normal life you have, Peter Parker. All units 1034. Repeat, assault reported. This piece of... The menu for my first real date with MJ. Huh. Funny. My fear of heights didn't go away when I got my powers. I had to climb to the top of the Empire State to get over that. My prom boot in here. Crushed when I had to fight Fisk. An Oscorp visitor badge from when I interviewed there. Would have paid well, but Dr. Oc Spider plushie! Oh, a toy designer made this prototype to get me to license my likeness. Maybe this will help me balance work and a personal life. Gotta have something to do on Aunt May's Gotta have something to do on stakeouts. MJ wrote this article in the school paper about student protest. This piece of the Shocker's original uniform showed me how to protect myself from his blasts. Of course, they always upgrade, don't they? Captain Aunt May's recipe for wheat cakes. <laughs> I could never make it work on my own. Aunt Captain Watanabe gave me her cell number when she finally decided to trust me. She's risking a lot. I can never give this prototype spider tracer enough range to be useful. I can... Oh! Oh, man! I meant to wash this gym shirt six... Never finished this application for the coffee bean. Would have paid more than what I'm doing now. I beat this wrestler right after getting my powers. Never had that much money before in my life. Or since, come to think of it.
I just want to make sure you haven't left any equipment you've built for your friend around the lab. It's no bother to me, but if the Grant Committee stops by again... Don't worry, Doc. I make a point not to leave anything there. But I know my friend appreciates you looking out for him. There's a lot of people who don't like him very much. That buffoon Jameson and his audience of sheep, please. The people who do great things in this world are those who don't let bullies like him stand in their way. People like us. You said a mouthful, Doc. Take care. <laughs> Love laying out pulleys. Got an algorithm in the suit that can extrapolate where the kidnappers might have gone. I'll tune my earpiece to listen for sounds of someone struggling. I got you. Thanks. Were the cops understaffed? I was afraid no one would find me. Those are the guys! Get them! That guy earned the beating, Spider-Man! You want one too? Why Jonah paid me the big bucks.
scared the crap out of me. Nice to see you. I better be more careful with my adoring public. Nasty car wreck down there. People might be hurt. A pedestrian's trapped under that car. I have to help. I've got to stay calm. Safe. I should let fire and rescue do their jobs. at Roseman's auction house. What you probably didn't hear, but my sources confirm, is that the perpetrators were wearing masks. Horrible, demonic faces. Yet another example of the explosion in mass criminals since Spider-Man came on the scene. Let's hear your thoughts. You're on with J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah, I see your point, but Spider-Man stopped those guys today. Saying he's like them because he wears a mask isn't fair. It's like prejudice. Wrong! Here's a little lesson in the English... Hi, Herman. Seriously? Give it up! You're never gonna catch me! That's what she said last time. I don't wanna hurt you! You'll just slow me down! Wow, that's considerate. What's the money for, Herman? What do you care? Actually, I don't. Just trying to make polite conversation. I'm done talking! But this could be so much more rewarding if we connected on an emotional level! Wait, I forgot. You don't have emotions. Come on, Herman! At least talk to me so we can make it interesting! Gotcha. Now let's talk. I said I'm done talking! Noted. Honestly, Herman, why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move. I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone, or for someone. You can tell me who it is now, or make me punch it out of you later. It's your choice. Not enough. Move, move, move! Zero personality, but your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? <laughs> Maybe later. Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? 
I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Looks like I got some free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> Hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah, whenever, whatever. So I guess we're talking again. Cool. Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. You guys holding up all right? This moron thinks I'm going to move in with my daughter. Hey, that'd be great. She hasn't asked, and she's not gonna. I'm not going anywhere. You don't know that. Nobody does. Well, I'm not going anywhere. That's a promise. Peter, how are you? Partnership with restaurants and grocery stores works great. Any surplus food comes right here. Peter, what can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where'd she find it? I'm really not sure. Why, what is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Uh, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I take the risk.
Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. I well, never used to feel that went about as well as I could have hoped. This one, I have never had. You know, before. the business community's really stepped up. Both job training and hiring. Well, most of them. Sad not to see Oscorp here. There's always someone looking out for us. I could patch these shoes. They'll last a while yet. Looks like May's not in yet. So I was into horses. Wasn't everybody at some point? Wish May would take some of this down. It's embarrassing. An artist I was not. Miss you. Man, was I ever a dork. Well, we all have an awkward face. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey work out in the city. Sorry, sorry, sorry.
here. Mr. Lee spoke to me. He seemed worried. Are you into something dangerous? Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry. I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You've got a good boss, man. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. Are you okay, ma'am? Carmen, and I'm fine. It's my husband, Rodrigo. He's been acting weird, and I just found out he's meeting this woman. Well, listen, I'm not the best person to help with relationship problems. It's not like that. I think she's involved with bad people. Rodrigo might be in real trouble. He's scared, but he won't tell me anything. I can check it out. Any idea when he's meeting her next? Tonight, by the detox center in Greenwich. Okay. Don't worry, Carmen. I'll find out what's going on. Detox center's not far. Carmen just sent me Rodrigo's picture. Let's see if I can find him. Rodrigo. He's really nervous. That woman doesn't seem like a girlfriend. I'll get a photo and see if Carmen recognizes her. You better not hold anything back. Why would I? Bad that angle. Need to get it straight off. Got it. Looks good. Remember, tell anyone about this, and I leak the photo. We're not alone. That's Rodrigo. He's really nervous. That woman doesn't seem like a girlfriend. I'll get a photo and see if Carmen recognizes her. You better not hold anything back. Why would I? If that picture gets out, my life's over. Give me gotcha. the plans and it won't.
plans. This sounds bigger than I thought. I better follow the blackmailer and find out how big. Carmen, I'm uploading a photo to you. Does this woman look familiar? No, I've never seen her. What were they talking about? Sounds like she's blackmailing him. She mentioned something about plans. My husband works security at a casino in Atlantic City. She could be planning a heist, but I'll need more evidence before I can do anything. Let me know if I can help. All right. I'm gonna see where she's taking the plans. I'll be in touch. Another victim or an accomplice? I need a photo. No perches with a good angle on this new guy. Looks like it's the underside of the High Line. Just what I needed. Yeah. As soon as he saw the photo, he fell in line. Trudeau always was a sucker. Boss will be happy. Let's see the plans. That's what I'm talking about. Gotta catch my train. Don't want to keep the boss waiting. It's gonna be our biggest Hell yeah. How many people are in on this? I've gotta follow him. Getting off. Tapping into the train system should help me follow the train's path. Carmen, the blackmailer met some guy under the High Line. Sounded like you knew your husband. I'm sending you the photo. That's Deshaun, Rodrigo's best friend from college. He went to prison years ago on a robbery charge. Casino plans and a criminal record. Not a great combination. I need to find out who else is in on it. If they're hitting the casino, they'll need at least a wheelman and a safe cracker. I watch a lot of heist movies. Sounds like it. I'll let you know what I find out. Is this an express line? Can't let that train out of my sight. Into the line. I should head over near the subway exit and wait for him to get out. He's heading for that office building. They're on the move. I have all the evidence I need. Now I just have to stop that car.
I love it when a plan falls apart. Hey, Carmen. Your husband's pal and his team just had their trip to beautiful Atlantic City canceled. Thank you. I spoke to Rodrigo. That blackmail photo shows him driving the night Deshaun committed the robbery. But Rodrigo didn't know about it. He was just picking up his friends. I've got a contact on the force. She'll help Rodrigo. Especially if he'll agree to testify about the blackmail. He will. Or I'll show him he needs to be a lot more afraid of me than Deshaun. Thanks, Spider-Man. Hello? Peter, it's Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I mean, I, I didn't forget, forget, I just... I, I'll be there soon. <sighs> this tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. <sighs> He's right. How did I lose track of time? <sighs> These guys have an impressive social circle. like a high-speed chase to keep a guy on his toes. Break-in in progress. 
Report came in from Clinton. Over. Looks like we've got some doorbusters. It's not even Black Friday. Man, this goes away and suddenly it's amateur hour. I should get extra credit for this. Beautiful. Commercial robbery in progress. Incident is ongoing in the West Village. How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes! <laughs> hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work. In a secure environment. At Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. 
Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. They didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. Do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. Should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. There must be some way to help Doc. I'll think of something. left me a message about these before he left for you. Pete, hey, I need a favor. My mom's pet project was research stations that could benefit the public. Now, I launched them, but now that I'm away, Oscorp's gonna shut them down unless they prove their value. I was hoping you could watch them. I left details in each one. Thanks, man. As long as they're here, it's like a part of my mom is, too. Well, it's not gonna pay the bills, but... It sounds like it means a lot to him. I'll do what I can to help. I've got a couple stations measuring air pollution. The idea is to catch the, um, what's the word, contaminants before they reach toxic levels. Between you and me, I think Oscorp wants this to fail because it might show they're polluting. The amount of polycyclic hydrocarbons in the air is way too high. And rising. If it keeps getting worse, people could die. Particles are concentrating in trouble spots. Like mini clouds of smog. I'll swing through them and get samples, then trace them to as nasty as they are. I gotta swing right through those clouds. For these clouds to be visible to the naked eye, the level of toxins must be up there. And gotcha! I'm getting some good stuff. Well, good samples of bad stuff, anyway. <coughs> Got it! What else is new?
Huh. The toxin's coming from two types of cars. And a faulty smokestack. I better get photos. Perfect. Great light on that one. Smokestack picture I ever took. The Department of Environmental Protection will take it from here. Maybe I should make a green spider costume for Earth Day. Well, Harry Station just stopped the public health crisis. Oscorp's gonna have a hard time arguing it's not useful. Spider-Man, Shocker has escaped, and now he's robbing a bank on East 31st. What happened? I thought he was behind bars! He was. But one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone. Hey Yuri, I'm back. What's this about Shocker robbing a bank? Wasn't he just locked up? He was. But one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone. What did you get out of the guard? Wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. Damn. Looking at the security footage, the guard was in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Well, that's creepy. Okay, I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank.
Peter, I've been looking into the distance. Sounds like they've quietly established a power base in the vacuum left by Fisk. The vacuum I created by putting Fisk away? Jameson was right. The demons are my fault. But what were you supposed to do? Let Fisk keep godfathering? Are you okay? You sound even mopier than usual. I think I might have just lost my job. The city, Norman actually, pulled our funding. Oh, Pete. I'm sorry. If Harry were here, he could talk some sense into his dad. Fisk beat. Fisk beat the hell out of me with these. I almost used them for evidence, until MJ pointed out I was trespassing, so I'd probably end up in jail. Typical Parker luck. Hey, my Mark I web shooters. Managed to improve the storage capacity a lot since then, but the basic design's still the same. When the Vulture cracked my eye lens, it almost blinded me. That was a wake-up call. Had to upgrade to a stronger material. Took a bullet from the cops back when they thought I was working with Electro. Good thing textbooks are thick. Rhino almost killed me until I broke this chip off his horn and... I thought web swinging would let me get pizzas delivered fast. And it did. Fast and smashed. I thought web... This article blaming Spider-Man for Electro killing cops was the last straw. I had to quit taking pictures that helped Jameson print lies about me. The jammer I whipped up to jam Vulture's wings. Too bad he improved them after that. Sorry about that, MJ. I was just gonna say, I think I'm unemployed. Norman pulled our funding. Oh, Pete. I'm sorry. If Harry were here, he could talk some sense into his dad. You'll find another source. Your work's too important. Thanks, MJ. Talk to you soon. Herman! Long time no see. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but, uh, I'm pretty sure that's a parole violation. Oops, guess we're stuck in here for a while. Wanna play 20 questions? Okay, face punch it is. Whoa, your gauntlets are all digital now, aren't they? Have it your way. You wanna fight? Let's fight! Man, can't wait to put you back behind bars so we can talk science. Remember our first fight? Me so young and stupid? You just stupid! You talk so much! Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any standard metrics for how much talking one should do? And who determines the ideal ratio of talking versus not talking? Also, okay, now I can do some real damage. Why are you doing this, Herman? Because if I don't, they'll kill me! Gotcha! Coming your way! Nope, gotta try something else. Still. If you ask nicely, maybe! That hurt me more than him. If you come clean, I can help you! You really want to help me? Just let me have the money! Sorry, not gonna happen. Anymore. You're 
lucky you found actual cash. If you really want to rob banks, try day trader. It's all the rage. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. oh, come on, Herman. Just tell me who you're working for. I can help you cut a deal. If I cost, I'm dead. They made that very clear. This one's gonna hurt. You're freaking me out, Herman. It's not like you to be afraid of people. Not even sure these guys are people. Could be anything under those masks. Wait, did you say masks? yourself literally man he was scared and desperate these demons are everywhere all of a sudden Shocker's all yours now. Good work. We have a special cell waiting for him at the raft. We'll make sure he stays behind bars this time. Also, I'm pretty sure he was working for the Demon Gang. Demon Gang? <sighs> Sounds like a Daily Bugle headline. Hey, the Bugle is a perfectly fine news organization. Not sure I'd call it news. Well, I've heard they have some really good reporters. Anyway, have you had any more reports on Demon... When MJ and I applied for this lease, I thought we'd move in together. Instead, we broke up. This is Just a Facts with Jake. The fight with Shocker took a while. Time to catch up on what I've been missing out in the city.
Doc left a message. Peter, I might have been a bit hasty advising you to find another job. I have a plan. Give me a bit of time. We may yet live to invent another day. The indomitable Otto Octavius. That's great news. Hope his plan works. Empire State University, the old alma mater, and holder of my student loans. Hey, so I looked into reports of demons. I knew you'd come around. They've been pretty busy tonight, hitting a lot of Fisk properties. They're going after Fisk? Damn. You thinking what I'm thinking? Brewing gang war? Let's try to get ahead of it. Are there any Fisk properties that haven't been hit tonight? Let me see. Patrol reported a bunch of activity at one of his shipyards in Portside. Thanks, Yuri. I'll check it out. Hey, Yuri. Any idea what Fisk uses that shipyard for? No idea. Let me send an officer to meet you there. His name's Jefferson Davis. That's his beat. He's a good cop. Been working the Fisk case for years. If anyone knows what's going on at that shipyard, it's him. 